<laughs> yeah, some simple rules. Some simple rules for equation. Solving equation, it may be verbal or simple equation, but solving equation, we should follow some of the rules. Some of the equation can be solved by using, by applying certain rules. Now see here, some of the rules is given here. Equation, rules number one given here. If A W plus B W equal A square minus B square, then W equal what? Now this is our equation. From this equation, we should find the value of W. Here, now uh, processly we shall apply, we should do here. Here, A W plus B W equal A square minus B square. Now here W is taken or here. W is taken common from here. This both. both. If W is taken common, if W is taken common, this is A plus B. W common comes here outside, and in bracket comes non-common part that is A plus B equal. Now this shall be expanded as per formula. Now A square minus B square. We know that our formula is A plus B and A minus B. This is expanded as per formula A algebraic formula a plus b a minus b now therefore now here w w equal a plus b a minus b this is as usual written here a plus b a minus b and upon a minus b it means here upper one is divided with this lower one lower one this a plus b comes in lower of this one so it becomes a plus b a minus b upon a plus b now here a plus b a plus B is similar, both is cancelled and the rest is A minus B only. Therefore, we can say that value of W is A minus B. Similarly, we can also say that uh, uh, rules number 2, here rules number 2 are given us, here the rules number 2 given us here, if AQ minus BQ equal A square minus B square, then Q equal what? Here this is also a uh, simple equation. From here, we have to find the value of Q. Now, now see here, processly. Here, AQ minus BQ equal A square minus B square. Here, AQ minus BQ equal A square minus B square. Or here, Q is taken from common. Here, Q is taken common. So, it becomes Q in bracket A minus B. Q is outside and in bracket there is A minus B. Equal a plus b a minus b now this shall be expanded as per our algebraic formula our algebraic formula is here a square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b now this therefore q equal q equal now this a plus b a minus b comes on upper and in lower comes this a minus b a minus b comes in lower now upper one is divided by this lower one now here a minus b a minus b is same similar so both is cancelled and comes here a plus b Therefore, we can say that value of Q is A plus B. In this way, we get the value of Q here, A plus B. And in beginning, we get the value of W as A minus B. And here, in second rules, we get the value of Q as A plus B. In this way, now... Hey there. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. As we... So you can get latest video notifications. And this... 403 upon A. They are given us our question. Our question is the combined price of one pen and three copies is RS210. The combined price of three pen and five copies of same quality is RS430. What is the combined price of one pen and one copy? Find it. This is uh, our equation based problem, verbal. We can also say that this is verbal equation based question or equation based question. To solve this question best problem, we have to make certain assumption something shall be assumed, or we can also consider or we suppose some things. Now here let here let the price of pen be x and the price of copy be y. Now here assumption is done as x is price of pen and y be the price of copy. Now Assuming these two things, we will work as per the condition or cases of the question. See here, first case. First case of our question say that price of one pen and three copies means x plus three y. Our pen is assumed as x, so one pen means x plus 
three copies. Plus three copies is plus three y. X plus three y equal two hundred ten. X plus three y equal two hundred ten. Now let it be equation one. X plus three y equal two hundred ten. Let it be equation one. Here second condition. Second condition comes from second condition. Second case. Second condition from second case. Second condition say that. 3x plus 5y equal 430. Means here 3 pin and 5 copies. Here pin is assumed as x, so 3 into x, 3x, and 5 copies, 5 into y, 5y. Five so 3x plus 5y equal 430. Whole price of simplicity is 430. 430. Now first case, first equation comes from first case, and second equation comes from second case. Now here two equation comes, equation first and second. On solving this equation first and second, we will get the value of x and y. Yeah. Here given us to solve. Now, solving equation 1 and 2, here solving equation 1 and 2, here first equation is our 3x plus 9y equal 630, it means equation 1 is multiplied, here equation 1 gives here, equation 1, here our equation 1 is x plus 3y equal 210, it means equation is multiplied with 3, equation 1 is multiplied with 3, 3x into 3, 3x plus 3y plus 3 into 3y comes 9y equal now 210 multiplied with 3 it comes 630 it comes 630 so equation 1 is multiplied with 3 to solve equation we have to do this multiplication now our second equation is 3x plus 5y as usual 3x plus 5y, 3x plus 5y equal 430. 3x plus 5y, 3x plus 5y equal 430. This is pressed as usual. But equation 1 is multiplied with 3. After multiplying with 3, equation 1 is placed here in the upper part and equation 2 is placed in the lower part which is not multiplied and anything. Now solving this both equation, equation 1 and 2, let's see here. Now changing here sign of plus 3x as a minus 3x and plus 5y as minus 5y equal 430 minus minus 430. So 3x, 3x cancelled and 9y minus 5y comes 4y. 4y equal 200. Here 430 is subtracted from 630 comes here 200. So 4y equal 200. Now y equal 50. It means 4 is 200 is divided by 4. Here 200 is divided by 4, therefore y equal 50. On getting the value of y, we will get is it, on getting the value of y, we will get the value of x by putting it in equation 1 or 2. Here putting the value of y in equation 1, it becomes x plus 3 into y means 3 into 50 equal 210 or x plus 150. 3 into 50 is 150 equal 210 or x equal 210 minus 150 therefore x equal 60. Here getting the value of y and getting the value of x we will easily get the we can easily say that our required assumption the things for we assume the things we assume is obtained here. Here now the price of one pin and one copy here the, now the price of one pin and one copy equal x plus y as we assume in the beginning the pin, let the let x be the pin of price and y be the price of copy so price of one pin and one copy means x plus y x plus y equal here value of x is 60 to 60 plus hey there subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications and this 403 upon b 
giving us if Ram gives one of the marbles what he possesses to Sita, then they will have equal number of marbles. If Sita gives one of the marbles from what she possesses to Ram, then Ram will have double of the marbles. What marbles with what Sita is left with? Find the number of marbles posed by its initially. Now this is problem based upon verbal equation. Equation this is now to solve this we should assume we should make some equation as per given condition, given situation, given cases of our question. Now see here, here let the marbles with RAM equal X. Now let the marble with RAM equal X and with theta equal Y. Here our assumption is done. We assume as the marble number of marble with ram be x and number of marble with theta be y then as per first case first situation of our question it, it becomes as here one marbles give given if one marble given means ram gives one marble it means number of marble with ram is x x minus one x minus one equal they, are, they possess equal, it means equal x minus 1 equal y plus 1. If Ram gives, now Sita takes. It means x minus 1 equal y plus 1. Or here x minus y equal 2. Here minus 1 comes this side, comes plus 1 plus 1, 2. And when changing side of y, it becomes minus x minus y equal 2. Let it be equation 1. Equation 1 comes from case 1. Similarly, in second case, second situation of question, say that x plus 1 equal 2 into y minus 1. Here, second given here, if theta gives 1 of the marble, it means theta marble is y, y minus 1, y minus 1. y minus 1 comes here, x plus 1. Theta gives, ram takes, it means y minus 1 plus x plus x plus 1 y minus 1 is x plus 1 say so that we'll have ram will have double ram will have double to make this equal ram and sita equal here 2 shall be multiplied with sita now x plus 1 equal 2 into y minus 1 as per second condition second, second situation of the equation it becomes x plus 1 equal 2 into y minus 1 or to make now make this making this equation simple or x minus 2y here x minus 2y equal minus 3 we can also say that 2 into y 2y now 2y is subtracted from this 2x 2y subtracted from this x x minus 2y and 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so it becomes x minus 2y equal minus 3 x minus 2y equal minus 3 becomes its equation number 2. Here first equation gives us first equation and in second equation gives us second equation. Second condition gives second equation and first condition first case gives us our first equation. On solving this both equation, equation 1 and 2, we will get the value of term and theta or we can also say that value of x and y. Here solving 1 and 2 we get solving 1 and 2 we get here first equation is x minus y equal to here first equation is x minus y equal to and second equation is x minus 2y equal minus 3 x minus 2y equal minus 3 is our second equation on solving this both equation we get here sign changing changing sign here x minus minus x is x minus and minus 2y is a plus and minus 3 as a plus. Now plus minus x cancel and now here minus y plus 2y is y, y equal 3 plus 2, 5. Here on getting value of y, we can easily get the value of x. Putting the value of y in above equation, equation 1, we can also put equation 1 or 2 anywhere as we like. Here x minus 5 equal to here value of y is 5 so x minus 5 equal to therefore x equal 2 plus 5 comes here 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 equal 
same way. Here we get hello of y equal five and hello of x x equal seven. Now in the beginning we assume that number of marble that ram poses ram poses x number of marble it means ram poses x value of x is seven so ram poses seven marbles and also theta poses y y marbles it means y equal five so theta poses five marble in this way we get required number of marble posed by ram and theta ram poses hey there ram has subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications and this question number 402 upon b here comes 402 upon b given if the numerator of a fraction is multiplied by 4 and the denominator is reduced by 2 the result is 4 if the numerator of the fraction is increased by 10 and 2 is subtracted from the double of the denominator the result is 5 upon 4 and the fraction here also uh, given us our verbal equation based problem to solve this problem we have to assume certain thing see here here let the x upon y be the required fraction our original fraction our main fraction shall be x upon y where x is numerator of a fraction and y is denominator of our assumed fraction so we have to what we have to keep things as per our situation then as per our first condition first situation of, of our question say that if numerator of a fraction is multiplied by 4 it means numerator of our fraction is x x into 4 for x in 4x 4x upon denominator is reduced by 2 it means our denominator is y y minus 2 so it becomes 4x upon y minus 2 equal the result is 4 equal 4 4 is our result so this is as per our first condition of our question we can also say that case first first case this is first case first case is our 4x upon y minus 2 equal 4 or on making this equation little bit simple or x upon y minus 2 here upper this 4 4 is cancelled so it becomes x upon y minus 2 equal 1 now here plus multiplication is done here x as as x x equal this 1 into y minus 2 x equal y minus 2 or x minus y equal minus 2 let it be equation 1 let it be equation 1 similarly we will again make solution of our second condition now in second condition given in second condition given that we have x plus 10 given here if numerator is increased here numerator of a fraction is increased by 10 increased by 10 means addition is done x plus 10 x plus 10 and 2 is subtracted from the double of denominator double of denominator means 2y 2y minus 2 so our fraction becomes x plus 10 upon 2y minus 2 equal the result the result is 5 upon 4 here equal 5 upon 4 now making here our equation simple on plus multiplication plus multiplication is done here here 4 into x 4x plus 4 into 10 40 4x plus 40 equal now 5 multiplied by 2y 10y minus 5 into 2 10 minus 10 or oh, this also becomes here 4x minus 10y this side has been changed of 10y 4x minus 10y equal minus 10 minus 40 on changing side of 40 it becomes minus 10 minus 40 or here 2 is taken comma from here 2 is taken comma it becomes 2 bracket 2x minus 5y equal here minus 10 minus 40 becomes minus 50 so therefore 
two x minus five y equal minus twenty five. Here two divide fifty. It means fifty is minus fifty is divided by two. It becomes twenty five. So therefore, our equation becomes two x minus five y equal minus twenty five. Now let it be equation two. From first case we got first equation, and from second case we get our second condition. On getting two equation, we will find our required fraction. On solving, here yeah, to solve we have to make certain process, certain things. See here. To solve our equation one and two here, first equation one and two, both equations can be solved. To solve this both equation, we have to multiply equation one by two. This equation shall be multiplied by two. On multiplying this equation by two, it becomes two x minus five y. Two x. Yeah. Now this here, it equation equation equations both. Subtracting from equation two, we get now our equation two is two x minus five y equal minus twenty five. Your second equation is our two x minus five y equal minus twenty five. Two x minus five y is our second equation. Now subtracting from second equation, we equal minus twenty five. Now our first equation is x minus y equal minus two. Now it shall be multiplied with two, so it becomes minus two two x minus two y equal Minus four. On changing sign, yeah, two x as a minus, minus two y as a plus, and four as a plus. Now, yeah, two x two x cancelled. Now, five y plus two y comes minus three y equal minus twenty five plus four is minus twenty one. Yeah, minus three y equal minus twenty one. Now, therefore, y equal seven. It means twenty one is divided by minus three. Minus twenty one. Is divided by minus three, so it comes seven. Now we are getting the value of y. Getting the value of y, y equals seven. We will easily get the value of x. Putting the value of y in equation one, we get now to get value of x, we shall put the value of y in equation one, or we can also put value of y in equation two. But it will be simple on putting value of y in equation one. X minus seven equal minus two. X minus seven equal minus two. Therefore, x equal minus two plus seven equal five. Therefore, our x equal five and y equal seven. Now, putting the value of x and y in our required fraction, in our original fraction, required fraction comes here. Our required fraction is. X upon y. We assume in the beginning. We assume in the beginning. Let the required fraction be x upon y. Same thing comes here. Required fraction is x upon y equal. Now x is replaced with this value of x. Value of x is five. Five. Of hey there. Now, y Subscribe to my channel five. and also five. press this bell icon so you can get latest five. video five. notifications. Five. And this. Two upon a given us. Question number four hundred two upon a here given. If three is added to the numerator, three is added to the numerator of a fraction. The value of the fraction becomes one. When three is added to the denominator of the fraction, the value of the fraction becomes one upon four. What is the value of fraction? Find it. This is also equation best. Marvel, Marvel equation best question. Now to solve this equation problem. We have to assume certain things. Now, here let the fraction be x upon y. It means our original fraction. Find it means find the value of fraction means now let the original fraction be x upon y. Here x is numerator and y is denominator. In this fraction, let the fraction be x upon y. Here x is denominator, x is numerator and y is denominator. Upper one is numerator and lower one is Denominator. From the first case, first situation, first condition of question, we can write here first case equal x plus three upon y equal y. Here given is three is added to the numerator of fraction. Here numerator of a fraction is x and x plus three. Three is added to numerator and x plus three. X plus three upon y equal y. It becomes fraction becomes one. So here denominator is y. 
denominator is as usual no addition is done equal one now now make this track uh, equation little bit simple or x plus three equal y into one y or x minus y equal minus three side has any change of y y changes its size comes in sign of comes as a minus y and three changes sides and becomes minus three so x minus y equal minus three let it be equation one similarly from second condition second case we can see here second case given in our question that x upon y plus 3 equal 1 upon 4 given here when 3 is added to the denominator of a fraction our fraction is x upon y and its denominator is y then y plus 3 3 is added to denominator here so y plus 3 equal the fraction becomes 1 upon 4 y plus 3 equal 1 upon 4 now this is also in form of equation now we have to make this equation simple or making here plus multiplication now x is multiplied with this lower one 4 and this lower one y plus 3 shall be multiplied with this upper one 1 it becomes 4 into x 4x equal y plus 3 as it is multiplied with this one 4x minus y here side changes on changing side of y it becomes minus so 4x minus y equal 3 let it be equation 2 in this form first case we get first equation and from second case we get second equation now on solving this first equation and second equation we will get, get the value of x and y here solving this both equation we will get the value of x and y here our first equation is x minus y equal minus 3 first equation and second equation is 4x minus y equal 3 this will be second equation on solving equation 1 and 2 then here first equation is x minus y equal minus 3 and 4x minus y equal 3 now to solve we have to change sign here 4x comes as a minus 4x and minus y as a plus y and my plus 3 as a minus 3 so here plus minus y is cancelled and comes here minus 3x equal now minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 minus 3x equal minus 6 therefore x equal 2 as minus 3 divide minus 6 on dividing 6 with 3 it comes 2 therefore x equal 2 now once we get the value of x we can easily get the value of y by putting in equation 1 or 2 putting the value of x equal to in 1 we get x minus y equal 3 minus 3 x minus y equal minus 3 is our first equation putting the value of x in first equation here in place of x we shall place 2 2 minus y equal minus 3 therefore y equal now 3 plus 2 5 so y equal 5 now here we get value of x x equal to and value of y y equal 5 on getting the value of x and y we will easily now we will after putting the value of x and y in our original equation our original equation is x upon y so our original fraction our original fraction is x upon y on putting the value of x and y in our original fraction we will get the, our required fraction so our required fraction becomes as x on the no, x as a no, numerator so it comes on upper part 2 2 upon 5 5 is our denominator as a y so our original fraction required fraction is 2 upon 5 please like and subscribe please like and subscribe don't forget to hit the like button, and if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.